Now we are joined by Yohanan Plesner. He's the president of the Israel Democracy Institute and a former member of the Knesset, the Israeli parliament. Yohanan, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. And we want to pick up on this threat of hostages, as we just heard there from our colleague Richard Engel. Dozens of them, numbers upwards of 100 is what we've been hearing. Now the militants have threatened to start executing hostages if Israel bombs civilians in Gaza without warning. What are the possibility for next step here? Next steps here with Netanyahu and Israeli's defense forces, given this hostage situation? What do you think happens next in Gaza? Well, you know, this is a murderous regime using state-like capabilities in order to create a manufacturing line of mass murder, of massacre. They're threatening to, to kill uh, civilians. This is what they've just been, uh, done on Saturday. They killed approximately, apparently, more than a 1,000 Israelis, uh, a vast majority of them, families, children, uh, elderly. Uh, they, they've... Uh, engaged in medieval-like war crimes. All of, the entire world was shocked when ISIS uh, executed their terrible, uh, uh, tragic operations. This is an ISIS-like organization in Israel's uh, back door. you having state-like capabilities supported by uh, Iran. And uh, the doctrine uh, that sort of was uh, a, a, a part of Israeli policy of, well, we can contain them, we can perhaps try to moderate them, uh, play with a carrot and stick policy. This failed. Those people cannot be trusted. They cannot be at our doorstep and have state-like capabilities and control them. And therefore, they, they, this entire uh, uh, force needs to be the Hamas leadership and Hamas capabilities need to be obliterated, crushed, dismantled. And it will take time and it will be painful and it will be costly. And it will be tragic, but there's no other option. It is the struggle of the free people against a dark regime that, by the way, is using similar tactics against its own people. Mm. Hamas has said it's seeking the release of Palestinian prisoners who are in Israeli jails in exchange for those Israeli hostages. Netanyahu is facing pressure from within his government not to negotiate with Hamas. Do you think, Hamas, do you think a prisoner exchange deal is even possible? Should that even be considered right now in your mind? No, the hostage situation is, is tragic. We've never, those are not prisoners of war. They didn't take, some of them are soldiers, but apparently, and we don't have the final numbers yet, the majority are civilians that were extracted from their home from a festival where hundreds of youth were uh, were uh, celebrating on a Saturday in the middle of the nature, and those murderous people came and killed them and murdered them. And apparently, it's even difficult for me to say, but there were also instances of of rape, and it, it is it's heartbreaking. And therefore, uh, obviously, uh, they have to immediately release. All of, uh, at least all of the civilians. This is a violation of any kind of ethic, any kind of uh, uh, norm. Now, uh, Hamas continues to send uh, uh, troops to try and uh, uh, enter into Israel and kill Israeli citizens. And this is why the whole hostage situation cannot be treated. We're not in the past where there was uh, one operation, hostages were taken, and now we're in a stable state of equilibrium. We are, Hamas declared war on Israel. We're in a state of war. We care about our hostages. But the highest priority is first and foremost to crush Hamas, to crush Hamas capabilities. And it's not easy because they are uh, 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 committing double war crimes. They're also attacking civilians and also situating their uh, capabilities and people within their own civilian population. So civilians on the other side that will not detach themselves and remove themselves from Hamas operatives and Hamas capabilities are putting themselves in grave risk because Israel is going to go after every Hamas person. All of them need to be removed. If you had ISIS people on your back door, five kilometers away from your communities, what would you have done? You would have tracked them down and eliminate, caught or eliminated each and every one of them. And this is what Israel is going to do. And, and while we were surprised and received the biggest blow in 75 years, and it's painful and it's difficult, but it's also heartwarming. And, and, and I'd like to share it with you to see the mobilization of Israeli society, 
hundreds of thousands of reservists and so many other thousands that, that have been released from reserve service many years ago are requesting and demanding and pleading to be recruited again. And civil society is all mobilized. Mm -hmm. And Israelis are, are supporting one another. So Israel ha is strong and Israel will prevail, but it needs the support of the international community, not only now, but also when it will be more difficult, in a week or two or three, when, uh, when there will be a severe uh, a price. And we're not bloodthirsty. We're not looking uh, to harm any civilian, mm -hmm. but civilians will be harmed as a result of this terrible, mm -hmm. tragic situation that Hamas lured, her, lured us into. Yohanan Plesner, thank you very much for joining us this morning and providing your analysis here. Thanks for having me, and I wish us all the best. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.